when your body aches, you may notice it responds well to pressure. Not external pressure, but pressure you may push into, squeeze or rub on tight areas of the body that need to be loosened up or worked out. You may even have an arsenal of massage tools that help you get the job done because there are all kinds of massage tools out there on the market these days that you could use to generate some pressure within the body and try to smooth out tense and knotted up areas. But on this channel, we keep things really simple. In case we haven't met yet, I'm Rini. Welcome to Fascia Lately, your place on YouTube for videos that effectively get you feeling better in your body because we focus on the fascial system and I don't want that to scare you off. In fact, I want that word fascia to draw you in. But because we're looking to ease pain, increase mobility, and soothe the mind, and on and on, feeling better in the body by releasing fascia, now stay with me, we need to use some tools that will generate pressure into those areas of restrictions. In other words, we need pressure to engage the fascial system. Are you with me? So let's go over the tools that we use. Here we use two pretty basic, fairly low cost and easy to find tools. So to start off with, I like to use a full length foam roller. Now, if you Google foam rollers, you may see that they come in all different shapes and sizes. Shorties, thin ones, half lap, bumpy, nubby, vibrating foam rollers. Personally, I find it less to be about the tool you use and more about how you use it. So keeping it basic is suggested. I find that full length roller versatile enough to get into the places that we need to get into. And so full length in the world of foam rollers means 36 inches in length by six inches in diameter. And I would suggest a moderate density foam roller. Now, depending on where you purchase, different firmnesses will be an option. I like to go down the middle of the road and use that moderate density roller if you feel like you're a super sensitive type, you may want to investigate a softer foam roller. Or if you know yourself and you're thinking harder is better straight up, you can explore that firmer density, that's fine. In the description below, I've linked to a place that gives a thorough description of their foam rollers. Again, I do suggest no a smooth one, no nubs or bumps or ridges on it, but the density is up to you. And the other tool that we use here is a pair of air-filled balls. Now these are roughly four inches in diameter. You'll see here that there's a place for a needle pump. A simple basic needle pump will do the job. And so with these, you can blow them up to the consistency that works for you. And then you're able to inflate them over time as they kind of deflate on their own. And so that's it. A full length foam roller, a couple of air filled balls that are four inches in diameter and a mat to roll around on. And so if you're brand new to fascia and you want to start to learn more, check out this video here, new to fascia. And then you can go on and continue down the discover myofascial self care rabbit hole with this playlist as well. Either way you choose, I will see you there. And eventually I look forward to seeing you on the mat. Take good care.